Hi guys! Today I want to show you something I worked on last year, which is my 12 cakes of Christmas. And here is a quick glance at all of them. This year I have chosen to make 12 cakes out of the same mold and I'm just decorating them different ways. So this is the mold, it's my Nordic wear. If you go check out the link below, you can order it on Amazon. They, it's very easy to find, easier to find than it is to use. On the first day of Christmas, the cake that came to be is a powdered sugar snowy white tree. It's snowy in Florida. That's it. And look how pretty it looks. On the second day of Christmas, the cake that came to be is a green trimmed snow covered tree. That was really hard to say. And that's it. That's today's cake. The third day of Christmas, the cake that came to be is a green fondant happy little tree. And that's it. That's the Happy, smiley, cute little Christmas tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, the cake that came to be is a pink, shimmery, starry Christmas tree. So this cake by far is my very favorite because it's covered in pink, all pink. I love this cake so much and it's just so cute. And that's it. This is the pink, shimmery, star-covered pink tree. Okay. On the fifth day of Christmas, the cake that came to be is a bright golden tree. Sorry, you guys are going to have to hear my singing voice. We have a solid gold, 24 karat gold covered cake. And uh, if this doesn't impress your guests, I don't know what will. On the sixth day of Christmas, the cake that came to be is a crazy, Paint splattered Christmas tree. 3D Jackson Pollock painting. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it, but it was definitely fun and it got it helped my frustration. On the seventh day of Christmas, the cake that came to be is a white shimmery, um, it's a white shimmery snow-covered tree. Okay guys, this is it. This is, I think it came out looking very elegant, almost like a ceramic tree, a porcelain tree. So you can use it as a centerpiece or a decoration and then your guests will be super surprised when you cut into it and it's actually a cake and delicious. So On the eighth day of Christmas, the cake that came to be is a gingerbread candy covered Christmas tree. I am going back to a little bit more of a traditional Christmas theme but, and decorate it just like if it was gingerbread house. And that's it. Uh, this is a really fun cake for kids to try out because it doesn't take a lot of uh, skill to decorate. So just, um, it's just a really fun cake. So hope you guys you like. On the ninth day of Christmas, Hanukkah began for me. It's because it's not a Christmas tree this time, it's a Hanukkah menorah. And then I just grabbed my Hanukkah candles and I placed eight Hanukkah candles for the eight days and my shamash. Okay, and since today is the first day of Hanukkah, I will light my first candle. Happy Hanukkah! On the 11th day of Christmas, the cake that came to be is a white flower covered Christmas tree. So there it is. This is the flowery Christmas tree. On the 11th day of Christmas, the cake that came to be is a poured fondant. I don't know why I'm doing this Christmas tree. I really, why am I doing this? So basically, I guess I, I really always wanted to try this and I'm terrified of trying it because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a complete disaster, but uh, I mean, we might as well try since I'm doing so many of the same cakes. So here we go. On the 12th day of Christmas, the cake that came to be is a realistic, true to the mold Christmas tree. And this is it, guys. This is the last time for at least this year. This is the last time I'm making a Christmas tree cake with this Nordic Ware Christmas tree cake mold. And I think you guys should give it a try. It was, um, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun and a lot of work. 
And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up, and I will see you guys again next week. I would also love to hear from you guys. So let me know which one was your favorite, your least favorite, or anything you would like to see me do in my channel. I will see you guys again next week. Bye.